Instead of getting TMI, JMI says the OPA's decision only focused on the issue of BRO. In hindsight, the uh, pronoun um, might have been uh, poorly chosen, but there's nothing illegal with the word bro. There is something illegal when a contractor working for the government of Guam, GIAA, continues to operate as a contractor without a contractor's license. JMI specifically appealed GIAA's contract award to Menzies for a baggage handling system because the company didn't have a contractor's license. But it was an email from JMI to CLB Executive Director Cecil Orsini that the OPA took issue with, ultimately deciding this was a case of a bro just helping out another bro. JMI's John Elow, however, says the OPA focused on the pronoun instead of the actual letters submitted by Orsini, which he maintains does not need action by the CLB board because it's a citation. So on the two findings, the first finding was really, you know, CLB stating that Menzies did not have a license. The second finding was that the work at GIAA required a contractor's license. And that's all the letter, that's the content of what the CLB uh, letter had was just those two findings. There wasn't any manipulation of any other thing. It's just those are pretty straightforward. According to JMI, the facts were lost in all the turbulence. It just became intertwined uh, because of the uh, auditors, uh, the, the OPA's ruling. But really, if you go back since day one in September, when we FOIA GIA, we communicate with uh, uh, the CLB, the staffer gave us the uh, information that they weren't licensed. So, you know, you just got to go back from the beginning rather than start at December. And that's when, you know, I, I wish, you know, the, the auditor would, should have conducted a full hearing. So that way he can call us all stakeholders in, people from Menzies, me, uh, GIA, and get the whole story. For now, the issue is grounded with the OPA, but JMI is charting a new flight path at the Superior Court the entire ordeal costing a pretty hefty ticket. It's disappointing in, in two ways. Not only are we fighting, spending money with our lawyers uh, on, on the OPA, but now we got to spend more money when we go to the court system. Whereas if it stayed in the OPA and if we had a full hearing, then all the stakeholders would have been sworn in and, and uh, the OPA would have learned more about the history from September, not just basing his decision on December. On, and solely on the word bro, which is, again, is not illegal. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matanani.